Hello, how are you? So today I'm just talking about a little more about uh, stress and its uh, connection with what's going on in your body and your mind and your spirit. And I wanted to, to talk today about the three stages of stress response. There was an endocrinologist named uh, Salia that came up with this, uh, did research and came up with this idea of this thing called the general adaptation syndrome. And essentially what the body, the body has three stages in response to stress. And the first stage, of course, we all know about is the fight or flight. Uh, and the second stage that after fight or flight is the body can withstand that for some time. It can, it can, it can support that, um, that fight or flight response for some time, but not forever. And so if you're, it, the body adapts to the challenge of stress, and so uh, it, can, it can kind of be okay for a while. But with prolonged stress, with chronic stress, if you don't address the stress that's uh, kind of come up in your life, you can't, it, it, what happens is, is you, it, your body just kind of is like, ooh, I can't, I can't do this anymore. And so the first part of that would be exhaustion. And so let's talk about it in terms of your body and your mind and your spirit, because they're all connected, no? So the first things, of course, that you would feel would be physical exhaustion. And, uh, and then you would start to feel low. You would start to feel tired and spiritually and low and mentally groggy. And the problem with chronic stress is that there are physiological uh, reactions to that. People with chronic stress tend to have a higher level of heart disease, and uh, they tend to have high blood pressure. And they, because they're in a constant state of fight or flight, they tend to be overweight because they're not digesting as effectively and efficiently as they could be. And then, of course, with that comes all of the heart uh, stuff and the negative stuff that comes along with being overweight on your joints, on your, your structures. Uh, your immune system gets compromised. You just can't fight stuff off, off as easily. There's an increased risk of substance abuse. Now, let's just talk about that really quick. The studies show that when there's this chronic stress and when you're responding to chronic stress, you just tend to do things that make you want to hit your, as Glenn Doyle says, hit your fun button. Uh, and everybody's fun button is different. Um, your fun button might be drinking. I posted yesterday that my fun button was drinking. I don't drink anymore because I'm aware that that's a fun button for me. And it's something that I use that uh, kind of helps me to kind of check out a little bit. Food, uh, potato chips for me, I don't know what it is for you, let me know, um, can be a fun button. Alcohol, food, uh, any uh, substances like that that you're using to help you cope and deal. All right. So there's an increase uh, in uh, substance use in order to just to cope, just to get yourself back up to that baseline level. And the last thing I wanna say is that there is a connection between chronic stress and uh, uh, an increase in uh, depression and or anxiety in the body, and in the body and the spirit and the mind, and the soma is what we would call it. And so uh, here's the deal. It totally is reversible, and we're going to talk about all of that tomorrow, but I just want you to know that chronic stress and feeling that high level, and that becomes normal. Have you noticed that? Like when I was in, uh, it, when I was in the television industry, I functioned at this high level of stress, and that's what became normal to me. Do you, do you ever feel that way where you're just like, you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off, and that's what you think is normal because you never allow yourself the down, or the only way that you get the down is with a glass of wine, or the only way that you get the down is by smoking a cigarette, or by whatever it is, whatever your fun button is. Yeah, am I making sense? Am I preaching to the only, am I the only one out there that's feeling this? But the research shows that there is a link between the chronic stress and ultimately long-term stress. 
And so tomorrow, if you tune in, uh, we're going to talk about some ways to cope with that. And I want you to know it's not hopeless. And I also want you to start paying attention now before the holidays hit. I want you to start paying and sensing and feeling what's happening in your body. Notice your breath. Are you breathing in a shallow way? Are you breathing? And, and are, you, are you ever coming down? All right? All right. So there's the three stages of the stress response. The first is flight or flight. To recap, the second is uh, the body adapts for some time. And then the third thing is ultimately, it's like, nope, I can't do this anymore. All right. Tomorrow we'll talk about tool number one to combat this stuff. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.